Most people in life are looking for how do I make a life worth living in retirement with having when a man is sitting in the middle of the night doing a recording, there's always some player who wants to come up and play. The reality is what I'm amazed at is how these men walk by and solicit me. I'm literally sitting in a special spot out of the way of several businesses meeting a potential client. I'm in the middle of a meeting with an obvious client. It's not my daughter. It's not some whore. It is not someone I've solicited. This is a young person who is asking for my services. I find it rather stupid that these men I've never met before want to compliment something that's on me. I am not a girl. Do not compliment my clothing. That is inappropriate address. Do not play into the fact that I'm sitting with a girl. If you want to solicit a girl, go find your own girl. Do not solicit my clients. This is an immaturity that is clearly being passed around in the community of, okay, our approach with food doesn't work. Let's try something else. No, go out, find your life, go find your job. I don't mind someone who's thoughtful. I don't mind someone who's appropriate. And yes, I have taught the skill of using a compliment to talk to someone. But usually in business, we're complimenting skill sets. We're complimenting someone's job. We're complimenting the challenges or the difficulties that they have to go through, which to some people listening would be odd. When I'm making my rhymes, I'm trying to make up time because every minute that I'm with a client is my paycheck. Every minute that I'm on the phone is my future. Every minute that I'm working on audio files or on video files, I am not soliciting you. I am communicating to a future employer. When you personally think you have the right to edit my videos without my lawful consent, little girl, you are literally putting yourself in hell with God. You see, when a channel uses a video channel to communicate to people, God knows precisely who's going to be listening, when they're going to be watching, and what they're going to be doing and feeling when they do it. Or are you that stupid about the mother and father God of the entire world?